assignment 6 there is a remark for you let e i j be an n by n matrix with i j entry 1 and 0 elsewhere if a is equal to a i j m by n then a is equal to summation on a i j e i j where i is from 1 to m and j is from 1 to n now here it is given to us that e i j is m by n matrix which means it's having m rows and n columns so what kind of matrix is this suppose this is your let me take this e i j to be e11 where this is your first row and this is your first column that represents suppose I'm having many numbers of rows and then I'm having so many columns so this E11 is taking the entry on first row and first column which means this is your first row and this is your first column and this is your this first entry this entry is they are saying that this entry is one and zero elsewhere and rest of the entries are zero 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 all are zeros only e11 the entry in one one -th entry here this is the element is one right and suppose if it is e12 suppose then this means first row and second column right which means this is your first row and this is your second column so this entry will now become one and rest of them all becomes zero right so such kind of matrix is your e i j and if a if you take to be equal to a i j m by n then a is summation of a i j into e i j now what is a i j this is the entry a 1 1 right so let me take an example to explain this suppose i take my a to be equal to a 2 by 2 matrix having the entries A11, this is A12, which is first row and second column, then entry present at the second row and first column, then second row and second column. Suppose this is your A. Now I have to show that this A is submission of AIJs and EIJ, right? So this is equal to, uh, can I write this as I'm taking a uh, A11 and then rest of them as 0 and if I add this matrix with this 0, A12, 0, 0, then 0, 0, A21, 0, 0, 0, 0, A22. Is it fine? Alright. Now let me take this A11 outside. And I'm having here 1, 0, 0, 0. Thus taking A12 outside. This is 0, 1, 0, 0. And then taking A21 outside. This is 0, 0, 1, 0. And at the last A22 into 0, 0, 0, 1. Now if you look at here, this is nothing but your E. Now this is this entry is at the first row and first column so this is E11. This is what I have explained earlier. And now if the entry present over here which means this is first row and second column so this is E12. E12 first row and second column right. Here the columns are uh, greater in number. This is just an example to show the submission. And this is A21 and this is nothing but your E11. 
Now here the entry is present in the second row and first column. So this is E21. Similarly, this is E22. So these, the, so this A is represented as sum of these four terms, having A I J and E I J summation, where I is from one to two and J is from one to two. Right, simple two by two matrix. So this is just an example to show that. And please keep this as your remark only that if AIJ is such kind of matrix, then A can be written as the summation of AIJ and EIJ, right? So just take this as your remark only. Let's move on to the further examples. Prove that 1x, x square, x cube, x n. These are so many polynomials. And we have to prove that this is a basis of the vector space V of all real polynomials of degree less than or equal to n together with the zero polynomials over field R. So I have to prove that all these set of polynomials forms the basis for V. For that, I need to show that these set of polynomials are, uh, these are the generators of V and all these are linearly independent. So uh, now since uh, we know that one property that none of these polynomials is linear combinations of the preceding polynomials, right? We have studied this property and when this happens that if none of the polynomials is a linear combinations of the preceding ones, then such polynomials are linearly independent polynomials or vectors, right? So clearly, these are linearly independent as since none of the polynomials one x x square up to x n these are linear combinations of the preceding polynomials. So therefore, the polynomials are linearly independent. So 1x, x square, clearly these are linearly independent and let's mark this as 1. Then we have to show that these polynomials forms the generators of V. These are the generators of V, which means every element of V is a linear combination of these polynomials. So let me take one polynomial from V. And let me name that polynomial that fx is equal to a0 a1x plus a2x square up to so on a n x n. Let this polynomial belongs to V. Then fx is clearly, clearly you will see here that this polynomial is a linear combination of 1x x square up to so on, right? So, but fx was arbitrary. So, every element of V is a linear combination of these polynomials so v is generated by them so mark this as 2 so from 1 and 2 we say that these forms basis for v this is a clear example and please mark or note that this set of polynomials is a standard basis for the vector space v of all real polynomials of degree less than or equal to n together with zero polynomial over field r right Please mark this in your mind that these are the standard basis for the vector space V. Clearly the result is already proved. Thank you so much.